Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, still holding on to a dry weather this evening, even though I'm tracking a couple of isolated showers on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Put it in your TV set at home. See left-hand side of your TV, Western Mass, Western Connecticut, out towards Hartford. Not a big deal. I think a lot of this will actually fizzle out as it tries to approach during the overnight. Wouldn't last very long. I think most of us will be sleeping when this comes through. It's actually gone by early tomorrow morning. We're partly cloudy in Providence right now. A comfortable night. The city's at 63, but outlying areas, it is pretty cool for August. It's down in the 50s in some spots. I know Gloucester's down to 55, Smithfield clear in 57 right now. The air still very dry, and that's a, a rule of thumb. Dry air at night cools off more rapidly than when the air is humid. In fact, 55 in Gloucester, Coventry's at 56, a little milder along the water just for the simple fact that the humidity is a bit higher, of course, as you get closer to the coastline. Satellite and radar composite shows what we call an upper level low weather disturbance in the upper levels of the atmosphere, producing some rain across southeast Canada and uh, through upstate New York and even a couple of lingering showers again in western Massachusetts and Connecticut. One or two of these will sneak through overnight. It's offshore by tomorrow morning. Future cat shows as well. Starting off well, right about now, partly cloudy conditions, temps in the 50s and 60s. A little shower comes through during the overnight by 8 o'clock in the morning. It's offshore. It's fizzled out. We're waking up to sunshine in the upper 60s. Temperatures still slightly cooler for this time of year. Mid to upper 70s for daytime highs. This is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. A real comfortable after, uh, day. And by tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock, a blend of clouds and sunshine, and then beautiful, dry, pleasant weather for your Friday evening and Friday night as temperatures get back into the 60s tomorrow night. 7 a.m., upper 50s to low 60s with sunshine, 11 o'clock in the morning. It's in the low to mid 70s, and then during the afternoon, topping out between roughly 75 and 80. Humidity is still low. It's a comfortable day once again, and there's just some fair weather clouds mixing in with the sunshine at times. Good visibility on the bay, a light west breeze turning southwest at 5 to 15 waves a small high tide Newport Harbor a little afternoon. All right, seven day future cast. Saturday looks good. Sunny skies up to 80. Sunday, it's not a rain day, it's not a washout, but a couple of scattered showers. There'll be opportunities certainly to get outdoors on Sunday. Partly sunny in the upper 70s. Beach is not bad tomorrow. Air temperature about 73, water temp 71. Uh, safe sun time running 15 minutes and a low uh, risk of rip currents at the beaches. You see temperatures at night are pretty comfortable in the 50s and the 60s and next several days looks fine. And again, Sunday's not a washout. A lot of fun activities this weekend. I know the St. Rocco's Feast over the next several days of the weather should cooperate. I heard, is that true that you cook or you just go there to eat? Uh, both. I'll be cooking Saturday and uh, Wait Sunday. a minute. <laughs> You'll be cooking? I, well, I assist. I okay. turn the peppers over. They word do on all the, the street cook. is Mike doesn't cook. It's great food at the feast this weekend. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Tony. Coming up next.